Welcome back to GTU on the road in southeastern Utah. Now, it's been about six months since GTU took us on the road to Moab, and a lot has been changing, especially when it comes to the Museum of Film and Western Heritage. In the sponsored segment, we have Elise Park, who is the director of the museum, and give us a sneak peek of what is happening with this museum. Yeah, so thanks so much for having me back on. I'm super excited to share with you some of the things we've been working on this year. Like like you said, a couple sneak peeks for you. Mm -hmm. um, one of our biggest projects this year has been planning a brand new facility um, that will be at Red Cliffs and it will house the museum as well as a brand new gift shop and a state of the art movie theater, which we're super excited about. Well, this is a chance to kind of start over and make this a venue because currently it's inside the Red Cliffs Lodge basement. Yep. And I remember staying here and I had no idea it was there. Yes. So this is going to be so incredible. And let's talk about the rich history of Western films. I remember sitting down with my dad. He loved John Wayne. And for certain, he filmed here. Yes. Yeah. So John Wayne um, and John Ford made nearly a dozen movies here. Um, and one of the things that I'm really excited about for the new facility is the opportunity to tell some of the like behind the scenes stories mm -hmm. about those movies. Sometimes those are the best stories. They are. They are. And yeah, um, some of the stories that I personally really love are stories about how artists and authors and local ranchers and local businesses have actually influenced the filmmaking that happened here in the Moab to Monument Valley region, which mm -hmm. um, we call them it the Moab to Monument Valley region, but we're really talking about the entire southeastern corner of our beautiful state um, and the nearly 200 films that were made here. Well, Elise, how can you not be moved or changed once outsiders come and see the gorgeous scenery around here? Yes. And it needs to be showcased and highlighted. Yes, exactly. And there are so many amazing films, comedies, westerns, um, horrors that showcase our gorgeous scenery here. This is a rich history, something to be very proud of. What is the mission of the museum? So the museum celebrates America's Western heritage as showcased by films from the Moab to Monument Valley region. Um, and like I said, I'm really excited for our new facility because it's going to give us the opportunity to tell some of those stories in greater detail than our current space allows. So I actually brought, if it's okay to show, mm -hmm, I brought course. some examples of some of these stories um, that I'm excited to share. So this image mm -hmm. um, is a painting by a gentleman named Frederick Remington. This was painted around 1901 and what Remington and his contemporaries did was they would tour around the western United States and document scenes of life on the frontier. Um, and we actually know that um, Remington and others were extremely influential for directors like John Ford and um, everyone's favorite of course can't uh, go without mentioning Kevin Costner who's wrapping mm -hmm. up production um, down the street you know, well, in the region as we speak. Um, and so we know that filmmakers have been influenced by painters like Remington. Um, and what they did is they would actually use paintings like this to, um, for both aesthetic inspiration as well as historic um, accuracy in their own productions. Well, at least it's important to get it right. It is. And it this is. is documenting history, influencing in the last century and another quarter century of past and present with Kevin Costner coming back time and time again. So it's important to make sure we are documenting this history. You got it. That's exactly right. And um, yeah, some of the things that we're super excited excited to share with you. So um, if you want to flash forward, you mentioned, you know, your love of John Wayne. Well, this and hopefully you can like compare those two together um, and see the influence again Remington had on filmmakers. So this movie, this this is a movie poster for Stagecoach. Stagecoach was made in Monument Valley, um, released in 1939. This movie is significant um, not only because it's still one of the most beloved westerns ever made um, and was made in Monument Valley, but because this is actually the film that launched John Wayne into stardom and gave him his big break. Um, so Utah's claim to fame, really, you got is it. John Wayne. Is John Wayne, that's exactly right. Um, Just with a few seconds, I want you to touch yeah. on establishing a nonprofit foundation. Yeah, so one of the reasons that I love this story of um, the influence that artists had on filmmakers here is because it ties into another big project that we've been working on this year, and that is establishing a brand new nonprofit foundation. Um, and the foundation is designed to celebrate and support 
the importance of art and artists in our communities. Um, and we'll be doing that through scholarships and other programs, um, such as supporting the Moab to Monument Valley Film Commission, which has been working with directors like John Ford and Kevin Costner since 1949. Elise, we are so excited about the museum opening. Tell us right now, because it, we are going to break ground very shortly. You got it. Yes, yes. exactly. So we're hoping for a 2024 opening date. Um, and folks can follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram. We've got a YouTube page. We've got TikTok, um, Moab MFWH on all of those handles. And people can find updates about the new construction and foundation there. We will be definitely following all the updates right there. Admission is free, by the way. And you can currently go and visit down in the basement. But then you can't wait until the new museum is open. Follow them on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And on the web, thanks to the Moab Museum of Film and Western Heritage, a delight to talk to you. Thanks so much. Ladies, back to you in Salt Lake City.